Hey guys, it's Justin back with an engineer's perspective. I'm doing a quick review of this Victorinox Grand Matri 6.5 inch Santoku. This is the one with the Grantons, you can get it without. And it has the palm plastic handle. You can also get this in an olive wood. Um, this knife here is fully forged in Zollingen, Germany, uh, done by a third party, not by Victorinox. It is then sent back to Victorinox in Switzerland where they finish it. My assumption is when they say that they just do the laser engraving, but nobody really knows the, the level that one does versus the other. But know that, that they're made in Zollingen and in Switzerland. Um, the length of this is six and a half inches or 170 millimeters. The height at the heel is 44.2 millimeters. Thickness at the spine back here is 2.62 millimeters. The weight is 8.1 ounces. Uh, balance of the knife is going to be at the transition between bolster and handle there. Um, the steel that is made out of is the classic German X50 CR MOV 15. They don't advertise the hardness, but through the edge retention I'm seeing, and the way it feels on uh, the sharpening stones and the edge that it holds, the angle of it. My guess is about 57 Rockwell. Uh, note that that is harder than say like a Fibrox model or even your Mercer, um, your Mercer knives. This is gonna be right in line with like your Henkels, your Messermeister type knives. So really just like nice average German steel. Um, I will say that this isn't going to be quite at the level that you'll see like your Wustoffs. This here is the Wustoff Classic 7-inch Santoku. Um, Wustoff advertises their steel at a 58 Rockwell hardness, and I personally do see that difference. There's probably like a 5 or 10% increase in just overall performance on these Wustoffs with their heat treat versus kind of the general public of German knives. Um, sharpening it, it deburrs better. The edge it holds is a little bit longer, a little bit narrower. Uh, on the topic of the edge, is uh, this one came at about 19 degrees per side, and that's about 10 thousandths, 10 to 11 thousandths behind the edge on average. It does vary heel to tip. Um, and what you get for all of those specs and um, everything it is a really just nicely done German knife. These are priced around $120 USD as of November of 2021. That is kind of just barely undercutting pretty much everybody else on the market. This Wustoff is $150. Um, Messermeister is going to be, yeah, in that $130, $150 range. Same with Zwilling. Um, so what you get is something that is basically the equivalent, but for slightly less. Um, so that's really good right there. Right there, I think it's a good buy. Um, there's a couple of important things to add. Is The first off is this handle. It is very well finished. Um, no hot spots, protrusions, nicely rounded. And the shape of this is just fantastic. It's quite wide, so small hands may have an issue with it, but for my big hands, it is incredibly comfortable. It contours to the hand. It gives me lots to grab onto and apply force if I need to. You've got this luxurious rounded bolster that's very nice to grab onto. Um, it's a great handle in contour, in weight, and in size, really well executed, absolutely shining star. Best handle I think you can get on a German knife today. And that's even compared to the Wustoff Icon line, especially because I prefer the balance of this compared to the Icons, which are very butt heavy. Um, the, so that is the absolute shining star. The, the bad to me on this knife and what really holds it back is one, I, I'm an absolute snob and I prefer the slightly better steel on the Wustoff but also is uh, this knife is not ground as thinly as this Wustoff. Not just at the spine, but the angle as that it tapers from spine to edge is a little bit thinner on the Wustoff compared to the Victorinox. So I'd say with the steel combined with the thinner grind on the Wustoff is it cuts maybe 10% better 
than the Victorinox. And I personally am one who is willing to chase that 10%. But if you aren't going to be bothered by that and are okay with you know, any other German knife, this is absolutely in line with that. Really well done, Victorinox. Um, I do want to add one note here at the end if you stayed for the whole thing. It is a Victorinox is a company that kitchen supply stores will buy en masse and sell for good prices. These knives can be picked up from kitchen supply stores for incredible discounts. This one right here, several months ago, I picked up for $66. At that price, there is not a better knife than this. This line is as good as it gets for prices like that. It's better than the Mercer's in my opinion. Definitely better than the Fibrox knives. It absolutely competes with your Zwillings, your Messermeisters, and it's dang close to the Wusthofs. This is the best knife for the value, absolutely in German cutlery, hands down. So really great knife, really enjoy it. That's all I've got for you guys. Have a good one.